wonderful Lord, wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. We join the right hand with someone. Lord God Almighty, we come today to give you the thanks and the praise. One more day, one more time. Thanks for the time. Goodness and mercy. Look upon every soul that's in there. Touch him, oh God. Bless him, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, give you glory and praise and thank you for it. Look your hand up and just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Yes, yes. You may have your seat if you pass them again. Oh, praise God. The Lord is precious and he's good today. I mean, the Lord is precious and good today. Amen. Amen. I said, the Lord is precious and good today. Praise God. Amen. Have somebody to give the Lord praise for and thank for today. Amen. Goodness and mercy. Amen. The Lord is a good God. Amen. A great big God. He's a great God. Amen. Son, what a mighty God we serve. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. If you have your Bible to with us, amen, to the book of John, first John, the fifth chapter, verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandment. His commandments are not grieving. For who never is born of God overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Even our faith. Amen. Even our faith. Amen. Amen. Who said it's born of God? All come to work. That's the good one, isn't it? Amen. Even our faith. Amen. Faith is a, is a great thing. Amen. Great to have. Mm -hmm. Amen. But here you amen. Amen. John is saying here. Who said it's born of God? All come to the world. Amen. Amen. And when you really think about that, amen, we've got a bone of God overcoming what? The world. How do you overcome the world? Because when you get born again, born again, all right? Yes. When you get saved, you become a what? New creature. Amen. Right? Amen. So, amen, you overcome all of the things that's under you. All the things that is going on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because you become a what? A new creature. Yeah. A new creature. So whoever born of God overcoming the things of this world. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. You know, you got to adjust yourself, amen, and get back in that. Yeah. Amen. Let's, let's go back to it just a little bit, amen. We think about being born again or being born, amen. And if we can't. Came to Jesus and said, Amen. Praise God. Amen. And Jesus said, Mother, I said, You must be born again. Right? Now, I know a lot of folks go around and tell you, I tell you that. Amen. That when you're born again, things got to wear off. Right? But, Amen. As far as I know, all the babies I ever seen come into the world. They were new, totally. Who right. so had talk. Right. You ever see the baby come in with old things and new things? <laughs> huh? Every baby, every baby that was born into this world become a brand new. Yeah. From head to That's why I said if this man would be in Christ, he is well a new creature. A new creature. Amen. A brand new creature. So when you get saved, amen, you become a new creature. 
Oh, with all the things that you've been doing, amen, praise God. Yeah, I'm mad to stop doing it. Amen. amen. If the Bible, amen, says that he take away your sin and throw it from you in the east and from the west. Amen. So we put it in the sea of forgetfulness so that it never rise up against you in this world and not one to come. So you become a brand new creature, praise God. And amen. Even in your faith, this is what's going to, amen, keep you up there. Mm -hmm. Amen. You would, uh, praise God. Listen to this. This is what it says. Who that was born of God overcoming the world. This is the adventure that overcome the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcome the world? He that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I mean, when you overcome the world, amen, you actually believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And everything else that you've been doing, stop being. Amen. Now this is does, amen, this kind of, before we get, amen, it's the chapter of John. Amen. Seven chapter of John, verse 15. This is talking to us, amen, I guess we'll be, after we get to be new creatures, you know, you got to, amen, start all over again. Right? Because it's impossible for you to have, amen, the same happiness doing the same thing after you get saved than you were before you got saved. Amen. So it got to be a change made in your life. Yeah. Amen. amen. Now, verse, amen, chapter 2, verse 15 of St. John. Amen. Love not the world. See what I'm saying? Amen. You have to make yourself love the world because it is not in you. When you want you get saved, the love of the world. Right? Because all the love of the world will go out of you once you get saved. Amen. Amen. You don't have no appetite for doing the things that the world do. Amen. You don't have a type of drinking, you don't have an appetite of smoking, you don't have an appetite of dipping, you don't have an type of committing fornication. All that is gone. So you got to make yourself do it again. Love not the world, not the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's what I'm saying. All that is in the world. Is the lust of the flesh. Now, I mean, that's not God. You know, even people have a ball and parking and shacking and all that. That's not God. That's flesh. Amen. That's lust. Yeah. Amen. That's what we call the lust of the flesh, praise God. Amen, praise God. And all this stuff, and you know, come on, that stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Because you cannot be a Christian doing it. You cannot be saved, amen, when you're doing those kind of things. Amen. You're drinking, amen, and all that stuff like that, and fornicating, and amen, you need to say But if you get born again, you become a new creature, and you say, like, all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eye. Amen. You know, Amen. Pray God. He said, Amen. He looked at a woman, Amen. Loved out to commit a death in his heart. So a lot of that go on too, you know, before you get saved. Yeah. Right. As you get saved, your eyes get sanctified. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because people that have eyes full of adultery, unstable soul can't see from sin. Amen. But once you get saved, you stop the sin business. Amen. And I said, You stop the sin business. Amen. Praise God. The love of life. Then the pride of life. Mm -hmm. See, pride go out of when you say it. Amen. You start being proud. Amen. Amen. You start being thankful. Amen. Come on, you start being proud once you get saved. Amen. Praise God because all that's out of it. Because Jesus said, Amen. Amen. Peter said, That's like a newborn baby designed to sit still in the woods. Can you see, man? 
Love God, a love for God, amen. That's what sex is all about, isn't it? A love for God, amen. Proud of life. And not of the Father, but of the world. Amen. All this is of the world, praise God. Once you're born again, you should have no problem living a saved life. Amen. Amen. Because he's sitting here, amen. Yeah, he says, for this is my, and this is the love of God, that he keep his commandment. And his commandment is not greedy. So it's not hard. For you not to do it. See what I'm saying? See, it's not hard, amen. Somebody said, well, my God, I'm a Christian. I still feel doing those kind of things. Well, you go, you go to church, but well, you're not a Christian. Amen. <laughs> See, you go to church, amen, praise God. Amen. With hate in your heart, it don't mean you're a Christian. <laughs> go to church and build in your heart, it doesn't mean you're a Christian. When you get saved, amen, he said you love one another, praise God. Amen. amen. And this is what verse 2 of the fifth chapter. By this, we know that we, have, we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. Can you say amen again? Amen. So when you love the Lord, amen, praise God, you're going to do what? Keep the commandment of the Lord. Amen. And his commandment is not grieving. It's hard to keep the commandment. Because you're a changed person. And that would make a man, praise God, saints, amen, different from sin. Amen. Wouldn't make them different because they do, amen, listen, amen, you can have a different appetite. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Amen, you don't think the same. Amen. Now you see